If you have been following us for a while, you know our obsession with LEDs and how much we love working with them. For the longest time, many of you have been asking for a tutorial on creating a reactive backlight for your screens. And today is the day. We have got an awesome, affordable setup that you can complete in just three simple steps. That too without writing a single line of code. So without any ado, let's dive in. As always, a huge shout out to PCBWay for sponsoring this project. Thanks to them, we were able to design a custom controller PCB specifically for this backlight setup. PCBWay provides high quality PCB fabrication that's fast and reliable, making it easy for you to bring your own electronic projects to life. Now let's talk about the project. This backlight works like Ambilight and reacts to what's on your screen in real time. Whether you are watching a video or playing your favorite game, this light will get you an ambient light reactive to the screen colors. All you need to do is set up the LED strips and controller, install WLED firmware and finally set up signal RGB to control and sync the lights with your screen. Let's start with assembling the controller and LED strips. We created one 3D printed casing for mounting the PCB on the screen. You can download all the files for this project from the description. After assembling the casing, mount the LEDs behind your screen. Following the edges to get an immersive glowing effect. Once they are in place, you can connect them to the custom PCB we designed for this setup. Next, we are going to install the WLED firmware. Type install.wled.me in your browser. Attach your controller with your computer through USB. Click on install. This process will take around 2 minutes to complete. Once the installation is complete, connect the controller to a Wi-Fi network. After connecting, click on Visit Device. The browser window will now open the WLED screen. Click on Config and then Wi-Fi Setup. Here, we will change the link to access this page. You can write any name. I am using WLED-SignalRGB. Click on Save. Then use the link you created. Again, click on config and this time click on LED preferences. Here we will change the total number of LEDs. The GPIO pin you are using and click on save. With this, our WLED setup is complete. Now let's set up the Signal RGB software. Open browser and Google Signal RGB. Open the link and download the software. Install the software by following the steps.
Once the installation is complete, we will add our device. Click on Devices and WLED. You can see my WLED signal RGB device is already available to link. Click on Link to link the device. Next, click on the WLED device. Next, we need to add some components. These components are just the number of LEDs that we are going to use. Click on Create and enter the number of LED. As we have four sides of screen, we will divide the total number of LEDs into four groups. Top, Bottom, Left and Right. In my case, the count of LEDs in all these cases are this. Top and bottom both contains 86 LED each. While the left and right side contains 50 LED each. So we will add 4 components for each side. Once you are done adding with your LED components, click on Layout. Here you can find all 4 components listed in the Layout panel. Now we will change some properties. and set each component's placement on the screen. Once all the positions are set, we will change the effect. Click on Screen Ambience. Here you can see my graphic card does not support screen ambience on my default display. So I need to make some change in the settings. Click on Settings and move to the Video Settings sections. Scroll down and turn on the Compatibility mode. Once you do that, your screen ambience will work. Try some videos and play your favorite games. And the LED setup will reflect all the colors according to your screen. Make sure to like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel.